I love the rain. It was raining so hard like all the angels in heaven decided to take a piss at once. There I sat, waiting for someone to walk through that door, punching some useless clatter off on the typewriter. Many people concerned about politics, the economy, me. My biggest concern was whether to tie a half or full wins or not for my tie that morning. Not to say business was good or anything. It was slow. Sometimes I wondered about getting a new occupation. Maybe become a salesman, a lawyer, or maybe even a milkman. But there I sat, waiting for someone to come through that door. Enter Miss Claretta McCrady. I could not ask for better business. This dame had legs so long he had to stop at the kneecap to ask for directions. She was a doll. I'm looking for Clinton Miles, private investigator. You found him. What can I help you for, Miss... Uh... Uh, McCrady. Claretta McCrady. Claretta? Well, what a name. Uh, what's a beautiful gal such as yourself doing on this side of the tracks? Uh, Miss McCrady will do, Mr. Miles. And I require your services. Services? What kind of services? Your professional services, Mr. Miles. And if you'd like to continue this type of talk, I'd be happy to take my case somewhere else. Ouch. Can't say I was the smoothest guy, but I could always get back on my feet. Miss McCrady, please, wait. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I just uh, hardly have anyone come in this cramped up place and uh, can get the guy's brain, see? Or lack thereof. Well, I could see we're off to a wonderful start, Miss McCrady. Now, what can I help you with? Well, I suppose you remember that car that ran off of Blue Rock Bridge about a year ago? Yeah, suicide if I remember correctly. That's exactly what I don't agree with. The man that died that night was my friend, Daniel Parker, and he was murdered. Well, believe what you will, Miss McCrady, but uh, what exactly was your relationship with Daniel Parker? He was my friend. Come now, Miss McCrady. Now, if I'm going to be working your case, we're going to have to trust one another. Now, who really was this guy? Your uh, lover boy or something? Yes. Well, as much as I would love to help complete your little love story and bring his killer to justice, the police reports were quite conclusive, so there's not going to be a whole lot to go on. Well, but you don't think you can do better than the police? I'll see what I can do. Funny thing, coincidences. Sometimes everything just seems to fall into place. I had not planned for Miss McCready to walk in that day, but it was my luck that she was the exact person I needed. I'd already been working on the Parker case for some time, and Miss McCready just handed me the key. Now I must remind you, Miss McCready, I cannot guarantee your safety. It would be better if you went to the police. I don't trust the police. Well, I must say there are some shady circumstances surrounding your Mr. Parker's death, to say the least. Here. This is where they recovered the vehicle. A 1947 DeSoto. Did Mr. Parker ever own such a car? No, I don't believe so. He drove a Buick Roadmaster. A Roadmaster? What type of business was this guy in anyway? Why? What's wrong? Well, the problem I have, Miss McCready, is that no car fell into this creek the night of the murder. I mean, even if a car were to have swerved downhill, it would have been carried downstream somewhat by the current. Instead, it was found right here, dead center of the creek. No, I believe the car in the police report was placed there. By who? The police? I don't know. But they didn't do a perfect job. There was a shootout? No, I usually wouldn't jump to such conclusions, but I couldn't help but notice the many skid marks up on the road. Not one car. No, it had to have been several. Some kind of meetup or exchange or something. And something went wrong. Obviously. Do you think the police could have something to do with this? I don't know. But I'm starting to wonder what it was your Mr. Parker was up to. When was the last time you saw him? 
I knew it wasn't a suicide. Even some snot-nosed kid could tell you that. The fact was that the police were hiding something. Something big. The files contained the same jabber that they had been feeding the public for the past year to quiet everyone down. But now, according to Miss McCrady, the last time she had contact with Mr. Parker was at a favorite gin joint of his, owned by a man named Guy Leone. Clinton Miles? Well, who wants to know? Agent Patterson, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Agent Raslow. What am I, in trouble? Oh, we just want to have a little chat, Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles, we'd be delighted if we could join you. Look, if you guys don't mind making this quick, I'm kind of on a case here. Oh, we know, Detective. That is why we are here. We've already spoken with your client, Miss McCrady. Oh, what, she had to get the FBI on this, too? Now, don't get upset, Mr. Miles. We're on a case of our own as well. Which leads us to you. Well, how so? The death of Mr. Parker and the... We believe that the case that you're on might have some bigger implications. Well, with whom? Well, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to disclose such information, but I can assure you that everything is under control. Now, what we need from you is your cooperation. What conclusions have you come to so far? I'm not at any point to make any conclusions, Agent Patterson. Well, we will be here. And if you find anything, you let us know. All we want is your trust, Mr. Miles. Do we have that? Yeah, sure. Trust him? No. Last thing I wanted was two G-men breathing down my neck. But they just might be the right guys to help me get into the dirty laundry. Waitress! Now tell me, uh, is Mr. Leone here? Leone? Yeah, Guy Leone. He owns this joint, doesn't he? Oh yeah, but he's leaving for Los Angeles. In fact, you might be able to catch him. His train doesn't leave until 9 o'clock. <laughs> Mr. Leon! Mr. Leon! What's the meaning of this? Who are you? I'm a Clint Miles, a private investigator. Listen, I need some information from you about a uh, Daniel Parker. <laughs> Love to help you, Detective Miles, but I've got a train to catch. Well, listen, uh, do you know anything about the guy? Uh, he used to come into your place. Parker? Yeah, sure. Well, did he tell you anything strange, anything suspicious? Yeah, but I've heard stranger things from drunk confessions. Anyways, I heard he was dead. Oh. But did he say anything? Anything about a... Uh... All the board! I, I gotta go. Oh, oh wait, uh, Mr. Leon! I said, I've gotta go. And just like that, it seemed to slip from my fingers. The only lead I had had taken the last train to the coast, and I was left stumbling in the dark. But my luck had not run out yet. Where did you receive this? I found it under my door this morning. Hmm. What should I do? I think you should go. I think this is the perfect opportunity to solve your case. Alone? Oh, of course not alone. I'll tell you in case things go sour. But right now, this is the only lead we have. I'm really not sure about this, Mr. Miles. What if he's planning on killing me or something? Well, don't worry. I'm packing heat. Go. Daniel? Cloretta. I, I thought you were dead. <laughs> oh, 
Hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, he's with me. I thought I told you to come alone. He's not the cops. He's a detective. No. You can't trust anybody. Do you realize what you've done? Daniel, he helped me find you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Well, if drawing attention to yourself is your concern, Mr. Parker, I don't think a gunshot and murder is going to help your case. Daniel, please, what's this all about? Mr. Parker, trust me. I wish I could tell you all went down that night at Blue Rock Bridge, but I... I just can't. They'll kill me. Well, who will kill you? I'm not gonna name any names. Well, let's just say that I was affiliated with an organized crime unit running downtown. Well, what do you mean by affiliated? I wasn't anything big. I was, I was just a delivery boy. Just running information. For him. Well, who? They call him the weatherman. A bad cop. Someone in the department, I assume. No one knows who he is. Not the police, the mafia, nobody. Because if his identity was revealed, he'd be useless, you see. Mr. Parker, you have to tell me exactly what happened that night at Blue Rock Bridge. Now, I may be your only way out of this. I can help you. I got a phone call from him that night. Just like every other night. This one was different. It was storming that night. I could barely pick up his voice over the clattering of the rain. He said that he needed something. Something very important. He said he needed a list of names. Of men. The Mafia wanted to bump off. And we were on it. Well, how'd you know you could trust him? I didn't. But I didn't have a choice. It seemed as though the Mafia were afraid of him. Seeing as though he knew all about their operations. But they didn't know anything about him. Anyway. He told me that if I wanted to live, I needed to get this briefcase to him as soon as possible. That I could find this briefcase at 7345 Mill Road. It would be above the sink, behind the ceiling tiles. And sure enough, it was there. Now all I had to do was put that case in my car and be done with it. But I got curious. What was in there that was so important? What'd you find? Files. A lot of information. Information about what? A policeman. No, an agent for the FBI. A guy named Raslo. Raslo? Yeah. And everything was in there. Police records, transcripts, passports, everything was in there. Well, what'd you do? I went ahead with the arrangement. He told me to meet him there at Blue Rock Bridge. I didn't trust him, but I went anyway. And he was there. Well, what did he look like? I don't know. I didn't see his face. It was dark, and the rain didn't help much either. I didn't have a lot of time anyway. We were followed. He asked me one question. Did I look in the case? Naturally, I said no. I didn't even have enough time to give him the case before he shot at me. And I barely made it out alive. He drove off as I did. There you have it. Where is this briefcase? Some old hangar downtown. Now I was really playing with dynamite. I had both the FBI and the Mafia to watch out for, and only one thing to get me out of this. 
What was inside that briefcase? Hopefully it did not already fall into the wrong hands. Afternoon, Miles. Well, Mr. Leon, what are you doing here? I just returned from Detroit, finishing up some business. I see you packed well. That's right. It was a very long train ride. Well, not as long as Los Angeles. What are you saying? Los Angeles. I thought you said you were going to Los Angeles if you went anywhere at all. No. You must be mistaken. No. I said, you must be mistaken. I don't think you know who or what you're dealing with here. He's dead. Look, next time you guys want to introduce yourselves with a little less pizzazz, seems like there's all guns, not enough brains around this joint. Close your head. Like, you're lucky we don't arrest you for obstructing evidence. Look, Mr. Miles, the last thing that we need is some gumshoe getting in the way of your affairs. Gumshoe? What's this about? You just pumped lead into a handful of evidence, and you say I'm the one obstructing evidence, wise guy? Look, you failed to report about Mr. Parker being alive. We were telling you. But obviously not close enough. What do you mean? They're dead, Mr. Miles. Mr. Daniel Parker and Miss Claretta McCready were both shot in an apartment. It looks like Guy Leon and his goons got to him first. But perhaps you could redeem yourself. Seven, three, four, five. Those are Mr. Parker's last words. Do you have any idea what they could mean? Look, I don't know. Now, I was on a hot lead here, and there could be some convicting evidence on the premises. You're referring to this case, Mr. Miles. It's now in the hands of the Bureau. And if these crime lords were so adamant on defending this thing, I'm sure whatever's inside of it is worthwhile. You may be surprised what you find, Mr. Patterson. I'll take this to headquarters. Well, that won't be necessary, Sam. Look, you just shot Guy Leon in the back. You'll be lucky if you don't take your badge for this. Now, I'm gonna take this and Mr. Miles here up to headquarters and see if I can't clear it up. Are you sure? I don't like this. Him with you, I mean. I just think we ought to look into the guy. Uh, don't get too excited, Sam. We can't lose focus. We have to secure this evidence before well, we could even- I'm just saying. He's getting in the way of our operation. We should look into him. All right. Get Agent Finley from HQ to look up any residences with 7345. And you can look up Miles, too. Mr. Miles, if you don't mind coming with me down to the station. What am I, under arrest? Just come with me. In 
and that's when it really hit me. These two cats from the FBI knew too much. It didn't add up. They had been following my investigation all too closely for me to not start asking questions about their motives. Now I was in the boiler with one of them and know where to go but the can. So, Detective Miles, I understand that you were the last man that Mr. Parker spoke to before he died. Yes. And what'd he tell you? Well, I'd rather disclose my case once I got to the station, Agent Patterson. Uh, yes, get me Agent Finley's office. Finley! I do admire your cunning, Detective. You see, me and my partner have been on this case with Guy Leon for some time now. And it's kind of been my life's work. Yeah, I was wondering if you could look up a 7345. See if any street numbers or apartments could match up with this case. I told you about him. Did he? Who? Now that's the real question, isn't it? This inside man, Guy Leon, this trouble boys had in the police force. The weatherman. That's what they call it. Also, I was wondering if you could look up a Clinton Miles. Well, he's a private investigator working out of the old bank and loan building downtown. Well, yes, I have heard of him. Well, he's been of an interest to the Bureau for some time now. And to Guy Leon and his men as well. Seems like everybody wants to know who this guy is. Well, I don't think you know what you got your hands on then, Agent. And what do you mean? Well, the case. It was at the crime scene the night at Blue Rock Bridge. It's his, your, your weatherman's. My God. What does this mean? I think it means the weatherman's closer than we think. Rasslow. I can't believe it. Sooner or later, everybody bites the dust. But you know what they say. Now look, why don't you just go home? I can't. I'm on a case. Funny thing, this case. Out of all the cases in all the Bureau, and they had to stick me with this one. Benny died for it. The least I can do is finish it for him. Well, you're not getting anything done sitting around here and going over the edge with the Rams. I'm waiting on a phone call. Well, you best hurry. There's a storm coming. Hey, yeah, Finley? Well, what'd you find out? Yeah, I looked into your Clinton Miles for you. Yeah, and what'd you find out? Well, that's just it, Razlow. I looked for any records from all the police departments in the area, but there's nothing. No credentials, nothing. As far as what's on paper, he doesn't exist. What? There is no Detective Miles, Razlow. Well, where is he? We checked his office. He's not there. But what about the numbers? 7345. Did you find an address? Well, that's when things really get strange, Agent. I looked and found that there was an address. 7345 Mill Road. The records show that a Sam Razlow resides there. It's, it's in your name, Razlow. Sometimes everything just seems to fall into place, and Miss McCready just handed me the key. You may be surprised what you find, Mr. Patterson. I think it means the weatherman's closer than we think. Thank you.
Good work, Agent Raslow. Who is this? You know who this is, Agent Raslow. Don't fool yourself. You've just become famous. Well, what do you mean? What I mean is that you're a dead man walking. No, you're dead, Miles, or whatever your name is. We looked into your records. You don't exist. Exactly. I'm out, Agent Raslow. I'm home free. But I can't say the same for you. But what? Why do you think I was on the Parker case? Why did I take a detective identity in the first place, Agent? The night at Blue Rock Bridge, I knew the Mafia was gonna bump me off. They were scared of me. They wanted to know who I was. So I set up a fall guy and get rid of the evidence. But no one's perfect. So I set up a new identity to track down the only loose ends that could kill me. Mr. Daniel Parker in the briefcase. Both of which I took the time to destroy. A real clean sneak. Which leads us to you, Agent Raslow. You... You're the inside guy, the... The weatherman. Maybe so, Agent. That's not what Guy Leone and his gang were led to believe. <laughs> Don't you see, Agent Raslow? To them, you are the weatherman. Why are you telling me all this? I thought you deserved to know. After all, for years I've been setting you up, Sam. Got to the point where I thought I almost knew you. I'm sorry. Rain. I love the rain. Washes away all the blood.